Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Peace be upon you and Allah mercy and blessings Thank you for the opportunity First and foremost, I would like to express my gratitude to esteemed pharmacy Dr. Jaga Suprianta, Master of Pharmacy as Welcome Speech and Rector of Mubadia A.R. Fashudin University I would like to extend my respect to Professor Jalaluddin Basil Marahom, our keynote speaker from University of Southern Mindanao in the Philippines. Furthermore, I would like to express my gratitude to invited speaker, Dr. Vidya Carmila Sari Ahmad, Master of Education, Dr. Yuda Ferbianta Behler of Physical Education, Master of Sport, AIFO, Dr. Irawan Suprapto, Master of Education, and Ms. Dia Lesmaya, Master of Education. Lastly, um, I would like to express my utmost respect to all the event organizers whose name I read it full cannot mention individu individually without dismissing their significance. Let me introduce myself. My name is Resi Naya Wardani. I want to present an article that I have made which contains the research that I have carried out. The title of my article is Effort to Enhance Questioning, Engagement, and Mathematics Learning Achievement in Data Organization Topic True Project Based Learning or PGBL model in 4th grade of public elementary school to cover. In this research, I was assisted by my supervisor, Mrs. Sri Mulyaniksi. Now, we can go to introduction section. Education is crucial for individuals to improve their quality of life. Education begins from childhood and continues throughout adulthood. Education is not only about knowledge, but also encompasses personality development, behavior, and more. In general, education is a process for individuals to develop their potential. The ultimate goal of education is to help students to become responsible and productive members of society by teaching them the necessary content to success in the workforce in instilling value such as patriotism and strong self-esteem. Student, student are an integral part of the teaching and learning process as they transition from a state of not knowing to knowing. Skinner defined learning as a process of progressive behavior adaptation. This definition states that learning is a gradual process of adaptation leading to progress behavior. Positive behavior adjustment tend to occur when the adaptation process allied with forward thinking action patterns, improvement occurs through training. On the other hand, a lack of learning can result in decreased responsiveness. The action or behavior of students are crucial in the educational process. One of the activity students engaged in is asking questions. The question posed by students can facilitate teachers in understanding the extent to which students comprehend the material being presented. When students ask questions, teacher can provide information that students can understand, thereby preventing misunderstanding. Academic achievement can design if student if student do not actively participate in asking questions. In conclusion, students can enhance their understanding and acquire new mental abilities by active engaging with the content through questioning. Both students and teacher can benefit from participating in question and answer session. The ability to ask questions is crucial to scientific competency for students to process. Generally, students in higher grades have the skill to ask questions during the learning process. So friends said that students in the age range of 6 until 12 years 
should have the ability or skill to ask questions about the material being told. This allows students to acquire information they don't know yet knowing using their own words. The success of students in learning occurs when they are able to successfully complete challenging tasks. Hermes says that achievement is something that an individual accomplishes, especially through their own effort and skills. Mathematics learning is one of the essential subjects to be studied. Gruner's learning theory is particularly suitable for teaching mathematics. The theory encompasses three stages of learning for mathematics. There is an active, iconic, and symbolic. Fourth grade students at public elementary school to Cooper were observed, and their lack of engagement in the classroom was confirmed by the teacher. Students were seen moving from desk to desk, playing games and chatting with their peers. The teacher dominated the classroom and students rarely collaborated on projects or research. After the lecture concluded, the teacher invited questions from the class. However, no one in the class seemed curious enough to ask a question, and thus question went unanswered. Based on the statement, it is deemed necessary to conduct classroom action research to investigate the questioning, engagement, and learning achievement of students through the PGBL model in mathematics. The innovation in this study lies in the implementation of the PGBL model, where the teacher provides opportunity for students to experience meaningful learning by training them to actively ask questions through stimulus material and essay projects that ignite their curiosity to enabling students to confidently engage in questioning with the teacher and their peers. The research problem of this study aims to determine whether the PGBL teaching model can enhance questioning engagement and learning achievement in fourth grade students. Based on the established research problem, the objective of this study is to determine the improvement in questioning and engagement and learning achievement of fourth grade students through the implementation of the PGBL teaching model. Now we are going to research method. The research method used is the classroom action research method. Classroom action research is a research method that examines the cause and effect of treatment while also documenting what happened when the treatment is given. In focusing the entire process from the initial implementation of the treatment to the impact of the treatment. To enhance student learning, many educators engage in what is called classroom action research, also known as the process and result of classroom action research. Classroom action research allows educators to assess their own performance and determine how well they address challenges in teaching and learning. The Chemis and MC Taggart cycle model is used for this research. Taggart interactive process for problem solving include the following step formulation of a plan, implementation of the plan, evaluation of results, and revision of the plan. Both tests and non test data collection methods are utilized in this investigation or research. The testing method used is the descriptive more formative assessment. Non test techniques are assessment tools used to gather information about student condition without using test instruments. Non test methods include observation through ads such as interview and written record. In this research, both quantitative and qualitative approach are used to examine the data. The quantitative data analysis is utilized to process the data obtained from the observation of questioning enhancement. Next, we will talk about result and discussion. 
In order to organize the data of fourth grade students, the researcher conduct research action using the PGBL model and collect empirical data on the improved question and answer activities related to mathematics learning outcomes. According to the data shown in Figure 1, students' engagement with inquiry increased from the first cycle to the second cycle. A significant improvement in occurred in students who achieved score above 3.4, reaching 4.2 with the criteria of very good in questioning engagement for cycle 1 to cycle 2. Students are expected to actively participate in the learning activities when using the PGBL instructional model. And the level of question and answer activity has increased in this research. Students who are able to understand the meaning of knowledge and utilize their master skill to generate solutions to overcome problems are the ones who benefit the most from PGB learning. In line with this, the study said that questioning skill involved the ability to seek explanation on a certain matter. From this statement, it can be inferred that student questioning engagement in learning activity is highly necessary. Third, which teacher can determine the level of student understanding in the given subject. According to this perspective, students can enhance their learning abilities and obtain answers to important problems by practicing the habit of asking good questions. The increase engagement of students in asking questions also influence the improvement of student learning achievement. The learning achievement result of students in cycle 1 and 2 can be observed from the evaluation outcomes that have been conducted. The learning achievement results of students in each cycle are measured based on the student evaluation question given at the end of each cycle. The learning achievement result of students can be seen in Table 2. Table 2 shows the tendency of improvement in students' mathematics performance from the relative frequency. It can be observed that there has been an increase of 17.4% from cycle, two, cycle 1 to cycle 2. It indicates the attainment of the established success indicator which is to achieve 80% of the total number of students. The improvement in achievement is not only a result of the contribution of the learning model, but also the effort of the student themselves. The lessons have been implemented effectively, enabling students to fully comprehend all the information presented by the teacher. These findings are in line with Muliasa's view that an individual learning achievement is the result of their participation in learning activity. In this field, student ability to accurately complete assessment from they reflect how effectively they have internalized the course content during the learning process. In conclusion, students may have a stronger emotional connection to the information they learn when the PGBL model is used. This is supported by the opinion of Sunismi, Berdi Ningsi, and Wahyuni in their article titled Project Based Learning. Students engaged in PGBL based education not only understand the subject matter, but also develop the skill they need to make a significant contribution to society. Skills such as listening, speaking, reading, writing, researching, questioning, evaluating, reflecting, reading, and critical thinking are all included. There is uh, evidence that the PGB learning framework improves student proficiency levels. This is supported by research by Lysik, Kenesevic, and Marisi in their student in the study titled The Influence of Project Based Learning on Student Achievement in Elementary Mathematics Education. Students in the experimental group using the PGBL model for learning 
outperform their counterparts in the control group learning through conventional method. Therefore, it can be concluded that the use of the BGPL model can make students actively engaged and accompanied by improved learning achievement. This is all I can describe from the result of this study. With this result, hopefully it can explore the problem and can be useful for many people. Please apologize me for any mistakes or mispronunciation that may have occurred. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.